everybody. I just wanted to say hello and uh, hope that you're all keeping safe and well and enjoying the sunshine. Uh, we thought it might be a nice idea for us to make a different video for you each week uh, of us reading a different story and then setting some challenges like we would do in class. So this week our story is The Fish Who Could Wish. Fish and Wish. They rhyme, don't they? Right, let's see what happens in the story of the fish who could wish. Are you ready? In the deep blue sea, in the deep of the blue, swam a fish who could wish, and each wish would come true. All the fun that he had, all the things he would do, just wishing away in the deep water blue. He wished for a castle. He wished for a car. He wished for a horse and a Spanish guitar. He rode through the ocean, singing Oh Solo Mayo, backed by a group called the Hermit Crab Trio. Once when he wished, he could go out and ski. It snowed for a week under the sea. He wished he could fly, and to his delight, flew twice round the world in exactly one night. <sighs> if sharks came a-hunting for a nice fishy treat, he'd quickly just wish he was too small to eat. And to teach sharks a lesson, do you know what he'd wish? That he was a shark, and the shark was a fish. He'd wish himself square or round as a biscuit, triangular, oval, name it, he wished it. He wished for fine suits and handsome silk ties, but one thing he never wished was to be wise. One day, just for fun, that silly old fish wished the silliest, silliest wish he could wish. That silly old fish wished he could be just like the other fish there in the sea. But wishing was something other fish could not do. So that was, that was his very last wish that came true. The end. So the fish wished all of his wishes away because he didn't think carefully, did he, about what he wanted to wish for? Now, one of our challenges today is for you to write your own wish, okay? I am going to have a moment to think about what I would wish for. Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Okay, I'm going to write a sentence about the things that I would wish for, okay? So, I... Capital I, because it's the start of a sentence. We always start a sentence with a capital letter, don't we? I, what do we need? We need a finger space. I, finger space, wish, wish, were, ish, wish. I, wish, finger space, for, or for I wish for a finger space a cat. I wish for a cat. A cat. I wish for a cat. Hmm, what do I need at the end of my sentence? Can you remember? We need a full stop. Full stop. I wish for a cat. Now, your challenge is to have a think about five things that you would wish for. And you're going to write your own sentence with help from your grown-ups. Write them down in your book or on some paper and then you can post them onto tapestry and I can have a look at them and see what you've been writing and all the things that you've been wishing for. Okay, another challenge for us is... Oh, I almost forgot, guys. Don't forget our shh sound, okay? 
our sh sound is here. When you are reading your story, I want you to have a little look and see if you can find the sh sound, okay? Sh. Think of some other words that might begin with the sh sound or have the sh sound in them. There are some other words in that book. Wish. What other words can you think of that have the sh sound in them? Have a moment to think and then you can write those down as well, okay? Our math challenge is for you guys to make some little fish like I have here. And I want you to try and make 10 of these fish. And then I want you to put them, to do it on the floor where there's a bit more space. <clears throat> so you can make your own fish, write the numbers on them from one to 10. And then you can put them in order, starting with zero, one, 